Good morning, everyone. I am thrilled today to share with you all this beautiful article that I wrote about marrying myself. I have been, I think, on this journey of rediscovering myself these past eight years, especially after my divorce. I was with someone for 20 years of my life and I was living my life in a way that I feel I wasn't really being honoring of myself or even know who I am because of all the things that happened to me in my past. And I think a lot of us are living our lives not really asking ourselves, what do I really want? Am I really enjoying the life that I'm having? Is it truly the dream life that I wish to create? And I'm really grateful because I did the Ready to Love Again program with Gladys Diaz and Michelle Rosa and they were my two love coaches that really made me aware of how I can have whatever I want. My dream life is possible. And recently I became even more aware of how I was resisting what they were sharing in the program. And a lot of it was coming from not feeling that I even matter in my own life. And then, you know, unworthiness, not fe feeling that there's something wrong with me, um, all these subconscious beliefs that I'm really grateful that I learned hypnosis because when we access our subconscious mind, we can clear beliefs so much faster like this, just like super fast, which sometimes people are scared of and it's almost like we don't want to heal that quickly or we don't want to shift our lives that quickly. So what I've discovered is that people have to have a willingness and an openness and a readiness to really say yes to living their dream life. And yet there's so many answers and solutions for a lot of diseases out there that I've discovered a lot of our dis-ease is because we're not living in alignment to our truth. We're not really living from our heart and soul. A lot of us are living based on the programming of what we think we're supposed to be based on how we were raised. And this is what hypnosis helped me to discover was how much are you living on a program? So do you love your profession? Do you love your spouse? Do you love yourself? Do you know how to nurture yourself and really honor your heart and soul. And so all of this led me to marrying myself and saying, I'm gonna commit. Cause I was being half-assed in my life, one foot in, one foot out, wishy-washy back and forth. And all of it was stemming from me not asking that big question, do I really matter in my own life? So I wanna just say for everybody to have so much compassion, if there is a wishy-washy person in your life, if there's somebody that doesn't wanna commit, if there's somebody that is struggling to show up in full integrity with you, please be compassionate with them because so many of us, I think, are functioning from this place of not knowing how much they're being influenced by their past. And so many of us are holding on to pain and woundedness from our childhood that we are not able to fully love and give love and embrace love and be love. And after all these different things that I've done, and I mean, I've done a lot of different things for healing and for just self-reflection, meditation, you know, work with shamans and healers and therapists and done coaching and all these things. Ultimately, if you're not ready to say yes to yourself, and marry yourself and really vow to yourself, it doesn't matter how amazing your coaches are because if you yourself are not ready, nothing is gonna help you. Nothing is gonna help you the way that you can help yourself. And that's where I'm really grateful that I was inspired to look within and really ask myself, what's really going on here? Am I coming from this place of woundedness or am I coming from this place of love? And I'm so grateful that all the struggles that I've had, they've perfectly been placed there so that I can be this person today where I feel this is something, I, I really do feel every single person would benefit from marrying themselves first in their lives. So can you imagine you get engaged and then you get, before you uh, actually get married to someone, you schedule your own marriage to yourself if you haven't already. 
Um, and the amazing thing is three days after I married myself, which was all intuitively guided, I went on a retreat with myself and spent two and a half days with myself. And this is what came in when I was doing my meditation was to do this ritual to vow to myself. And three days after that, my friends asked me if I would be their ordained minister for their wedding. So this is how the synchronicities happen, how when you shift your energy, everything aligns differently immediately. And the more I see this whole thing about meeting my dream relationship partner, my romantic partner, that person is just gonna be a mirror of where I'm at in my life. So when people say, I met Mr. Right, Mr. Right, it's actually always Mr. Right now, right now. The partner that you're having, you're choosing that person every single moment and day. And so I, have, I feel that the marriage has to always be alive, alive and daily, choosing to be alive in that relationship with yourself so that you can then have that with another person. So this is what's really exciting to me. I feel like a little baby just discovering how to walk and how to, how to love from this place of really feeling embraced within myself. And it just feels so great. So when you have this experience of really embracing all of who you are, the, the person that you're relating with, you don't need anything from them and you can just actually love someone. You can love them for who they are and you're not trying to get something from them because you're missing something in yourself. So whenever we're trying to get something from our partners, we are actually, that's what we're just wanting from ourselves. And I see everything as a hologram. Everything is just a projection. It's amazing how true this is. And I'm just really excited for these revelations. I just can't keep it to myself. So I'm gonna put the link of the article that I wrote. And if you wanna learn more about the benefits of all of this, just message me, because I'd love to offer everybody a free 15 minute breakthrough call. And if you're struggling and you're feeling very needy, or you're just not feeling fulfilled from the inside out, I can definitely give you some pointers on what you can do internally simple processes i have meditations that i've created to heal our inner child if you have any daddy issues like i did um i created some meditations for myself to go back to my childhood and to process the pains related to the loss of my father and the lack of emotional support and basically i'm i'm so grateful at all the thunderstorms and earthquakes in my life because they've helped me to reflect on how can I create an approach that actually works rapidly, that you don't have to be years and years and years working on, that you can just have an experience with yourself because you know so, so much within yourself, the answers are all there. And we're so programmed to look outside of ourselves for the answers. With, we rely way too much, I feel, on the therapist, the coach, to, to figure it out for you, but you're never, re no one knows you better than yourself. This is ultimately what I learned is, when I go inside and I meditate and I be quiet and I listen to my heart, all the answers are there. And so to the degree that there's chaos in my life, is just a sign for me to be quiet and go inside again, go for my walk on the beach, lay down and do my E3 breath and just expand myself. And this is what I wish to share with everyone. So for all the ladies, if you'd like, join me Wednesday for Yoni Massage and Womb Healing Experience. And for the gentlemen and ladies, join me September 15, Sunday. I'm gonna be at the Standard and after the class, the Release and Surrender class, we go to the Steam Room, the Hammam, we get our white robes and you can also warm up your feet at the fire pit. It's so much fun after you steam to go there. And I'm just really grateful that I go get to experience all these amazing places and the Wellness Room Miami. I'm going to be offering an event there at the end of the month. That is the most beautiful sanctuary for healing. And the director, Fernando Arias, 
offers these awesome Reiki certifications and um, past life regression therapies and Miami's just rocking. I'm really excited to share in this way from this perspective of being committed to myself. It just feels so good and I want this for everyone. I just want to help everyone uplift and to discover that all your solutions are within yourself. They really are. Sending lots of love out there. Mwah! I hope I see the goddesses on Wednesday night. Message me for more information and uh, sending lots of love out there.